I just uh, I just want to I just want to make sure that I uh, um, let me just get something straight here, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> You became a spokesperson for Glisten when you were a freshman. That was right. Wow. Okay. Great. Good. And um, <clears throat> uh, you started a nonprofit that gives homeless LGBT youth access to LGBT affirming books. Amazing. Um, and uh, <clears throat> and you're not even in high school yet. Or wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not a senior yet. <laughs> Right. <clears throat> it's on my... <clears throat> Hi. My name is Malik Pancholi. I'm um, <clears throat> years old, and uh, apparently I have done nothing with my life yet. I mean, can we get another hand, round of applause for Amelia? You were amazing. Congratulations. And. Um, Thank you for everything that you're doing for, for all of us. It is truly an honor to get to share this stage with you, and it's truly an honor to be here tonight to celebrate the opportunities that Glisten creates for youth like Amelia. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, I could have really benefited from the support of an organization like Glisten or having a GSA to turn to. So I know firsthand how important it is that we create safe and accepting environments in our schools. And thanks to playing uh, an executive assistant to a boss that I think we could all agree is one of the most demanding characters ever written on network television, I'd like to think that I also have an idea about how important it is that we create safe and accepting environments in our workplace. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to celebrate the number one workplace for LGBT employees, according to Diversity, Inc., AT&T. <clears throat> AT&T led the way in 1975 as the first the first major American corporation to adopt a policy prohibiting discrimination against employees based on sexual orientation. 1975, wow. <laughs> and in 1987, they established League, the first, the first LGBT employee resource group in the nation. Domestic partner, benefits, uh, domestic partner benefit programs came along in 1998, and in 2006, AT&T became one of the first U.S. corporations to offer transgender-inclusive health care benefits. It really comes as no surprise that the human rights campaign named AT&T one of the best places to work for the 10th consecutive year. AT&T has also been a loud and proud voice for LGBT social action. As the first major corporation to oppose anti-gay policies at the Olympics in Sochi, and yeah. <clears throat> and is a vocal participant in the fight against Arizona's anti-gay law. <clears throat> this makes me want to work at AT&T. <laughs> Campaigns like Love is Changing History and Live Proud share AT&T's values of diversity and acceptance with the greater community. And in addition to supporting college-bound LGBT students by offering hundreds of thousands in scholarships, AT&T has worked closely with GLSEN for years to ensure safe learning environments. That includes support of the Safe Space Campaign and the Safe Schools Initiative, and sponsorship of GLSEN's GSA and Student Advocate of the Year Awards. For these reasons, and for so many more, we are proud to present AT&T with GLSEN's 2014 Commitment to Diversity and Inclusion Award.
Here to accept, here to accept is Scott A. Saperstein, AT&T's Executive Director of Public Affairs.